Okay, come on in and sit down. Good afternoon, I'm Pam Peterson. I'm the Family Living Educator with University of Wisconsin Extension here in Door County. And while I have you hostage here, since obviously I am not Chris Kinka, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Door County Barn Quilt Project, which is um, the project that Chris has so generously donated her time and her beautiful quilts to benefit. So, I'm just gonna take a few minutes and let you uh, give you some information about this project. This is a project, barn, anybody know where barn quilts originated? Anybody know what barn quilts are? Ohio, Donna Sue Groves, and uh, this is her mother's ugly tobacco barn. And she sort of joked when they bought the property that she wanted to make this barn prettier, and her idea was to paint a barn quilt on it. And so this is where it all got started, and it has now spread to 27 states around the United States. It's, um, uh, we started our project last year, and we've made amazing progress thanks to uh, Teresa Kennard, among other people. Teresa, raise your hand and wave. Thank you. Uh, Teresa is a 4-H leader who has uh, been painting barn quilts all winter long with kids in her 4-H club. So we have, would certainly not have gotten as far along as we have without uh, Teresa's help. Anyway, the Kiwani County Project started a couple of years ago. They have 18 barn quilts in, um, in uh, uh, Kiwani. There's one in Brown and two that kind of cross over into Door County. And uh, some folks here saw the information on the Kiwani project and approached me asking if I would do some grant writing and to see if we could get something started here in Door. Last year, we did the first fundraiser, our first Quilting at the Creek project, and we had several hundred quilts here on display, and we were invited back. Coggin generously uh, asked us, uh, um, indicated that the event was uh, a success, and asked if we could replicate it this year, and unfortunately, I did not order this 90-degree weather, so I apologize for that. I've been here since 10 this morning, so I'm, I'm a little melted myself. So what is a barn quilt? This is actually the uh, Greg and Mary Ellen Smith barn up on Highway 42, just past the research station. Barn quilt is a, bar a quilt square that is painted on plywood. We use a really good exterior grade of plywood and exterior paints from Diamond Vogel. Uh, attach them together and they weigh about 160 to 170 pounds. Generally, we use a lift truck to get these into position on the barns. Uh, once they are on the barns, they are the property of the barn owner, although we're hoping that will be around long enough to uh, uh, help if they need touch-ups at some point. We transfer the uh, blocks to the barn quilt uh, uh, pretty much the same way that you make a quilt, minus the, um, the uh, seam allowance on them. Um, this is uh, actually my driveway. My husband uh, primed uh, these for us. This is last fall when we started our, our project. Uh, it's two four by eight sheets of plywood, as I mentioned, three quarter inch thick. Uh, we draw them out very carefully, making sure they meet in the center before we start painting. And then it's a lot of taping and waiting and taping and waiting for paint to dry. Uh, it's been a wonderful family affair for a lot of our families. Some of them, one of them in particular, had five generations painting the barn quilt. The littlest one was just a little, wee little gal. And uh, it is the, um, Ulrichsen barn quilt, and if you get out there to see it, uh, you'll see a little purple splotch in the corner. It's the, the great-granddaughter's little handprint that they put in the corner of the barn quilt. Uh, but a lot of folks have come in with family members and friends to paint these uh, and have had really a lot of fun doing it. Uh, here's our design team. That's uh, Georgia Barr on the, the uh, left. Georgia uh, is one of the owners of Barn Door Quilts here in Sturgeon Bay. And you can see three of our finished quilts in the back. Um, they are framed out on the back and then hung. As you can see, there's a lift truck lifting this one into place. As I said, they're pretty heavy going up. We've done one with a ladder. <laughs> we will never do that again. Pam, how are they attached? They are, um, let me go back. You can see the frame there on, on the back of the barn quilt. That frame is offset at the bottom by about four inches. And then if you look at the, the picture of the lift with the barn, there's a two by four that is attached to the barn. 
The lift then just lifts the barn quilt up into place, drops it right down on that 2x4, which kind of holds it while we can get the screws in it. So they are screwed in. Depends on the barn. Uh, usually we're using about 4-inch screws. We did a log barn up on Highway 57, and actually uh, we went out and bought the 12-inch screws that you use to, to uh, build log homes to put that one on the barn, just to make sure that we had enough bite there because it, it's not quite as flush to the barn as, as it is on a regular wood, wood surface. So here's another. We had some wonderful folks who have donated their time with these lifts. Otherwise, I think we would have been right through the wall of the barn. Uh, and it takes some skill to actually navigate these things up there and drop them into place without any damage to the barn or the barn quilt. Oops, it's not quite as easy as that. Uh, we had some fun with that one. That's actually the one up on Washington Island. And that's our, our ag um, educator, ag agent at the Extension Office, Dean Volenberg, and me. This is the Goodlett barn quilt on Washington Island. It was the first one that we installed. Mr. Goodlett was 96 years old last year when we put this up. So it was important to me that we get this done for him and that we did his first. He's 97 now and he's still with us. Uh, his daughter drove him out into the field where the barn is and they sat in the van and watched us install it. And I was a little bit embarrassed about that because Mr. Goodlett is a fabulous um, uh, artist and um, uh, carpenter, and so our attempts, you know, I mean, they're adequate, but um, I thought, wow, I mean, he's the master and he's watching us. Here's a few other installs that we've done. Uh, the top picture, even the cows are really interested in what's going on. <laughs> Seriously, we, we get um, all kinds of animals and creatures and folks uh, wondering what we're doing. Uh, this is the babbler. Uh, uh, barn quilt, which is out in Maplewood, and uh, future plans for our project. Through this fundraiser today, we are hoping to be able to finance another round of painting in the fall and over the winter months again. Uh, we have 24 barn quilts uh, that are done. Most of them are up. I'm struggling to get the last three up, and if you grabbed a brochure when you came in, this is our location guide, so you can actually take the driving tour and, and take a look at these. We are hoping at some point, uh, probably not 2012 now, but probably a 2013 calendar that we'll be putting together and selling also with proceeds going to our barn quilt project. Uh, here's a couple more. The, the upper one there, the Mariner's Compass, is the five generation. And I don't know if you can see the little purple splotch right down in the right-hand corner of that barn quilt, but that's our little great-great-granddaughter there. And uh, a few more pictures of our barn quilts. Any, any questions about the project or comments? They're beautiful. Thank you. Yep. How do you decide which block you're going to do? Good question. Um, the blocks are chosen by the barn owners. Uh, we have actually, if anybody's interested, I, I have applications if you have a barn and you think you might want one of these. There's a liability waiver that Corporation Council requires that you sign, and then an application that you fill out. And we actually have a barn quilt committee that then makes the decisions about which barn quilts, which barns will get barn quilts. Uh, we're trying to spread things out a little bit, so we're kind of looking for some up north if anybody is up that direction or you know anybody up in that direction. The barn owners decide which block they want painted and the colors that they want painted. And the general Generally, the block has some significance to the barn owner. So, for example, somebody did one where it was the last quilt that their grandmother made. That was the block they put up. Uh, someone chose a block that was named after a family relative that was deceased. Uh, another family chose colors that were the favorite colors of every member in the family. So they have some significance that way to the barn owner. Any other questions? Um, we've, we've had um, a couple of articles in the newspaper, and we've had uh, some, uh, some radio pieces. Uh, we've been in Door County Magazine, so it's kind of been word of mouth that it's wow. spread. And we actually do have one in Sister Bay. It's uh, the uh, Knutson, Bev Knutson's farm. Uh, I don't have it up yet. Uh, uh, it's a big barn that is kind of on an incline there, so we're waiting to get a lift that's available. Uh, we actually had a time scheduled to do it, and life got in the way with that, and uh, we had some family issues and couldn't get up there. But uh, it's, it's one of the last three to be hung. So we'll have one up in, in Sister Bay. How many have been hung so far? We have uh, 24. Uh, there are four that are out at the county fair park. So all of those should be up before the fair starts. I know one is up for sure out there. There are three more that are going on buildings out there. Uh, 24 throughout the county. 
uh, from Washington Island down through Southern Door. Any other questions? I have another question. Sure. How long does it take to paint uh, block? Good question. Boy, I should let you answer that. Uh, it kind of depends on the block, actually. Uh, the more colors in it, obviously, the longer it's going to take or the more intricate the design is. Again, it's a lot of taping and painting. And again, it's two coats of paint, so you wait for the paint to dry. Pull that tape off, hope everything went well, and you got straight lines. Kind of like sewing a quilt. And then you tape again, paint the next color, couple of coats, wait, you know, tape again, paint again. So it really depends on how many colors there are in, in the particular barn quilt. Thank you.